are two ways to get to this co-organizer feature or at least be able to use it. So one of them is to go to this more actions here, as you see in your meeting, and then be able to access your meeting options here. And then you'll be able to assign a co-organizer. As you can see, I've already assigned a co-organizer, but you'll be able to assign any of your participants who are um, in, or I should really say any of your participants who you have invited to the meeting, you'll be able to actually assign them as a co-organizer. Now what this feature does, and I'll actually jump back to um, the other way you can get this feature in just a moment, but what you can do is once you're in um, this co or once you have assigned a co-organizer, what that co-organizer will be able to do is they'll be able to change any of the meeting option settings. So those are the settings that we just went over, which are these right here. Um, what you can't do in the as a as a co-organizer is you won't be able to uh, change the meeting invite itself so you can't change any of those settings or preferences when it comes to that nor will you be able to get the uh, transcripts for said meeting so it's mainly just to be able to um, change settings that are a part of the actual meeting itself so your meeting options now Going back to meeting options, if you want to get, say, the meeting options of the meeting uh, when you're not inside of it, easiest way to do that is just to go ahead and click on the invite of that meeting, right? And you can go ahead and click meeting options. There's also another way to get to it by going down uh, where you see here where it says meeting options and clicking there as well. But anyway, we're going to get to so now it opens up a web page and this is the other location that you can go to to be able to change these co-organizer settings and change these um, and add a co-organizer or change take away a co-organizer, all that good stuff. And so that is how that works.